Is it okay for a woman to approach a man first when receiving confirmation from the Holy Spirit in terms of a life partner? There's nothing wrong in a woman. Sorry, because I don't want <laughs> us to take this thing too far. There's really? nothing wrong in a lady being around the person God has already spoken about. Wherever there is honey, the bees would be. If Tho had not come to visit me after she had received me, maybe we won't be married today. Men, I'm not bashing us, please, but we... No, we're slow at times. It's really good. You know, ladies, they mature faster. They are sharper. When you are still thinking, A, hey, they already went to B, C, D. You understand. And when God already spoke to you as a woman, you don't necessarily need to say, will you marry me? But every other thing is good. You can encourage him. You can be his friend. You can smile at him in the hallway. You can join the ministry he's serving at church, you know. Um, but please never, never play hard to get and at 40, you are still playing hard to get. At 50, we're fasting and praying for you. You are still playing hard to get. Please stop all that. If you see somebody that likes you, somebody that you know you like, please be his friend. There's no sin in being friends. And God would open his eyes in Jesus' name. Amen. Very quickly and fast too. Thank you, Pastor B. My wife cannot stop cleaving with her parents. And this is deeply affecting our relationship. With a painful absence of sex, she doesn't want counseling. What should I do aside from prayers? I've been married for 19 years now. And I remember when I got married to my husband, he found out as I'm close to my family, like cleaving. One day I will go and visit and I might not come back. I'll just call, um, I'll come back tomorrow. I'll come back next tomorrow. All that. So what he did was that you will not visit your parent without me. That's what he did. He said, you will not go to your father's house without me accompanying you. So you have to work with my schedule. When I told my dad, why are you not coming? Are you the first to get married? I told my dad, my husband said that I cannot come visit you guys without him. And you know, he's busy. And that saved my marriage because I couldn't go to my parents' place without my husband. And I have to work with his time. And he's busy. So... It helped my marriage. Thank you. If you don't have toddlers, though. <laughs> That's why the toddlers need to either be in their bassinet or in another room. Your toddler shouldn't be sleeping on the same bed with you. I said this and I'll keep saying it. When those children grow up, they go up and they go out you would suddenly discover that the person you've been with for 20 years has become a total stranger. So it's important that you do not become strangers because you had children into your home. And if you are newly married, my counsel personally uh, is that please don't allow family members come live with you for the first few years because they become... <laughs> They be, no, no, no. It's extremely, and you can quote me that tell because at times when the husband is telling the wife or the wife is telling the husband, it may become difficult for them to accept. Just say, by or said in church. So quote me, please. And if they want to appeal, let them come and appeal to me. I would explain to them why it's beneficial for them that both of you learn together the process together. Thank you. Thank you, Pastor. Thank you, um, the Harris.